the feeling. Toyota. The kelp forests of the North Pacific are one of the richest marine habitats on Earth. These great undersea jungles feed us, protect us, and even influence our climate. Yet one small animal shapes the destiny of this entire web of life. In this film, we explore how sea otters help sustain one of the life-giving wild places of our world. When you go diving, most of the time you look down. When you're in a kelp forest and you're diving, you look up, you look around you, it's a three-dimensional structure and you're in the middle of it. It really is just like flying through a forest on land. Sometimes you swim through whole schools of fish. And of course, if you're lucky, you will see sea otters. They're often busy down below you, ferreting around in the undergrowth, and they just look magic. They go to sleep in the kelp forest, and they literally wrap themselves in these long strands of kelp, so they don't drift away. Kelp forests support a wealth of life, and provide us with food and protection too. Kelp forests provide this amazing habitat for fish fish that we need for food. They actually defend the coastlines against storms and cyclones, which are increasing in intensity as the climate changes. But kelp forests are also helping slow down these changes because they absorb carbon. The rate at which kelp is able to draw carbon dioxide out of the environment is, is very high. It's as high as, as any ecosystem on Earth. But in some places, these valuable kelp carbon stores are disappearing mown down by a hungry army. Every rock, every pebble, a sea urchin just grazes every little plant on it. In places where you have lots of sea urchins, you just don't have kelp forests. The one thing that keeps sea urchins in check are sea otters. Sea otters hunt out and devour sea urchins, allowing kelp forests to thrive. A healthy sea otter population means healthy kelp forests and all the benefits that go with them. So in fact, the sea otter is helping to ensure that kelp forests store as much carbon as they can. If you calculate how much that means in terms of additional carbon storage, then that service is worth 200 to 400 million dollars per annum. Dealing with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is a huge challenge for the planet. We think that we can solve it by just planting more plants. But it turns out that animals, in this case sea otters, play this crucial role in keeping forests growing. Guardians of the undersea forests that help stabilize our climate. Sea otters, part of the intricate web of relationships that is the power of nature.